Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we defeated Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, and we left off on a cliffhanger where we have to go to the commander's office, but it looks like we have a bunch of quests we can do. You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? Yeah, that would be nice. That it would. Unfortunately, Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any good news to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty greens as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but I'd make it three just to play it safe. Okay, it looks like he wants us to bring items to someone. Let's see what this other guy wants. Hey sport, interest you in some target practice? All you've got to do is lop some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even got some fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat. I can tell you that. If you're up for a challenge, just let me know. I am usually to be found in the practice field. Okay, that sounds a bit interesting. Let's see what this person wants. Oh, you're the boy from the survey corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Anais from the medical corpse. She'll be able to pinpoint you in the right direction. So she needs some type of leaves. And it looks like there's the target practice guy I think hey you're in the survey corps ain't ya just the fellow I was looking for I am working to make these er, fields bigger but the ground sure is hard to plow so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand more fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the survey corps. We're all in this together, all right? So if I could borrow a ground type Pokemon. Okay, that'll actually be really easy to do. We'll give him Geodude. Your Pokemon sure be a big help in expanding the fields, might as well get started. Wow, it's turning a grit and old soil all soft and fluffy, like it's nothing. How's it doing that? I have no idea. But I guess he's a farmer now. And seems we're done here, what a trooper. Oh wow, that's actually a lot. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a little longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap it in for a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. Um, did I accidentally give away Geodude? Um... I guess if he's putting his heart and soul into it, we can leave him here. Good luck. 
I guess we'll talk to the other guy. Listen here, Survey Corpse Kid. I saw the darnest thing. I was scaring the hardwood for crops so we could grow in the field here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening. The light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherim's petals closed right up, so it looked nothing like the little flower bud. Wow, I thought I witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, I went to check on that cherum, and it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works, or was the change I saw something different? When you finish cherum's Pokedex entry, let me have a look, would you? To bloom or not to bloom? Um, I actually don't have that Pokedex entry. But, I believe Cherum has something to do with the sun. Because it's a flower and it blossoms in daylight. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. Uh, sure. So without further ado, here's the recipe. And it looks like a Pokeshi doll. I wonder what it's for. This recipe's for what I've named Pokeshi doll. I invented them, you see, as special items we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. Um, okay. I guess I could make a doll. Uh, I don't know what the doll will do. But... We don't have enough wood yet, so I will do that later. Now we can go to the commander's office and see what's going on. And it looks like we have another quest over here. Uh, it's for the professor. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Um... Let's go with Bothersome Bidoof. It seems a band of Bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sue Moogie from the security corps and see if he can help set things in order. And there's playing with Drifloon. It seems several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Miki of the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. Playing with Drifloon. There are some requests. A particular Ponyta. Yota, a fellow from the village, claims to have seen a rather strange Ponyta. You must investigate the matter for some good of science. Okay, so I think these are actually some of the mysterious entries that hide under the Pokedex. Uh, as you can see, let's look at Bonita. At the bottom it says, investigated a sighting of an unusual Ponita. I think that's what that quest is. I could be wrong, though. But now we are at Kamado's office. Hmm. 
So it's come to your Saluna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adaman or Erida, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Erizu. You did well to inform us of your Saluna's situation. No problem. Adaman's got his hands full running our clan and all, and your Saluna's worn wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones who I could turn to about this. Your Saluna's worn is Mistress Caliba of the Pearl Clan, isn't na? Of all the Wardens, she is the most narrow-minded, minded, ahem, bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders, meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you. I order you to study your Saluna in the Crimson Mirrorlands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Yes, sir. It sounds like another frenzied Pokemon. The next area you will be sent to investigate is Crimson Mirrorlands. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those of the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. You must be a second star to face the Mirrorlands. Complete research task to help fill the Pokedex if you hope to move up in the ranks. Do so by catching Pokemon and conducting your survey work in areas you currently have access to. Oh. So, it looks like I actually can't take that mission on until I get a second star. So, I say let's go ahead and complete some quest and hopefully rank up. Um... Oh. Um, she just kind of appeared out of nowhere. So you've accepted my quest to look into that drift loom. I can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We'd heard reports that a drift loom was playing with one of the village children over on Pollute Beach in the evening. This seems like odd behavior for a Pokemon. So all of us and the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a drift loom. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the Drifloon and the child it's been playing with. So we have to go to Relude Beach in the evening. Um... Let's go ahead and try that right now, actually. Oh, um... Can Pokemon of the same species come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined side by side. If there's really a weasel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have, for comparison's sake. 
And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a Buizel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Um, we can try? Let's see. We'll give him this one. Good gravy, I never expected you to bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one though. One that's at least 2-8 would be great. Uh, nope, it looks like we'll have to catch him one later. There's a lot of requests we could do. Let's see what they want. Wow, you're amazing. I want a Pokemon too. Oh, hey, Serbia guy. You know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the Galaxy team? Be super brave. Nope. Aww. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch a Pokemon of my own. I've been throwing balls to get my aim on spot. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the Survey Corps and all. Do you think I could have five of your Pokeballs, please? Um... I don't have many, but sure. Woohoo! Now I can catch a partner Pokemon of my own. Here's a reward for you. Some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Zisu. She knows all about it. Okay, so... Anyway, I'm going to practice loads with the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that'd be a great partner Pokemon, let me know so I can go catch it. Uh, sure. Oh, my, you. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. Is that a compliment? She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon that you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me. Ah, uh, sure. How about it? Ready to show me how friendly you are with those Pokemon of yours? Let's show him Quilvia. That might be our best one. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You've a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like, you could keep on showing me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. I think the one time's good enough. But now we have to... Go gather some more research points to become a second star. So we could take on that one quest. Now I'm gonna go do that. So I've been out researching Pokemon and I've come across a new type of Bidoof. Well, I wouldn't say new, but this is B Barrel, and this is our new friend, Alpha Bidoof. He is a lot bigger than the normal Bidoof. I actually managed to catch him. He was a bit difficult to catch, but we were actually able to get him. Now he's our friend. And when I said I did a lot of research on Pokemon, well, 
I've caught 30 out of 39 Pokemon that I've seen, and I have over 99 unreported data. As you can see, I've pretty much got a lot of work done. All I have to do is turn it into the professor. And let's see what he has to say about that. Oh, it seems you've caught a considerable number of Pokemon in total. Bravo, my boy. Allow me to take a look at your latest findings. Sure. And we also caught a bunch of Pokemon. I actually almost used up all of the space I have. So, hopefully we unlock more space. So, this whole time I was here, I caught 114 Pokemon. I achieved 30 or more Pokemon in one report. 25 of which were different species. 11 were caught for the first time. And 43 were caught using a backstrike. With one alpha Pokemon caught. With that, we were able to get 20 thousand dollars which is actually really good for what we've done oh it seems you've made some new observations let's have a look then mm-hmm i see most illuminating i'll update our pokedex with this new data okay so it looks like he went ahead and added all of the new pokemon we caught which is pretty good. We have 26 newly registered Pokemon. We completed 130 tasks. That's a lot of tasks. And we've completed 7 entries, or new entries, and earned ourselves 20, almost 2600 points. So we should be able to actually rank up now. You've carried out some fine work. I believe you're ready to move up to the rank. Best report to Captain Selene, eh? I'd get right on that if I were you. So what would you like to do now? I think we should go tell Captain Selene about our findings. Righto, with the security corps escorting us, it'll be a nice safe trip back to Jubilife. So, we are now back at Captain Selene to tell her about our progress. Yes, have you made progress on your research task? We've made a lot of progress. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Okay, here you go. Take a good look at it. We've completed quite a lot from it. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. And now we are a second star member of the galaxy team. With this, you have officially obtained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey your orders in battle. The rewards you earn in the survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you need for crafting. And we got the recipe for Feather Balls. And the recipe for Super Potions. Which is actually some stuff we might have already. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokédex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Maryland on your own. Here is what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Maryland's known as Silesian Ruins. 
That is where you'll find Ursaluna sworn. Uh, what happens if I talk to her again? I think we actually have enough points to rank up again. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yes. So, that little trip to actually research all those Pokemon actually was pretty helpful. We are now a third star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Which means we can use Great Balls now. And Pokemon up to level 40 will obey us in battle. And we get better rewards. As well as a new recipe for the Great Balls. And I think that's all she has to tell us. So I guess let's gather our team together. And it looks like there's a new quest up here. Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary, if you please. Uh, sure. After this major quest first, we will check that out eventually. Now then, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon so we can go to the Urusala Ruins. Now then, I believe we are actually ready to head out. Oh, hello, Akiri. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. We can battle you again. Let's have a fine battle so I can grow closer with Pikachu. Oh, let's see if they've improved their bond. Show us what you got, Akiri. Oh, she has a Mime Jr. Go, Luxio! I think I'm gonna start this battle with... Maybe a... Maybe a bite? That was very effective. And now here is her famous Pikachu. It's very fast. And it got to go twice in a row, unfortunately. Three times. So I think I'm on a strong style bite. And that was just enough to take him down, thankfully. I was a bit worried that the Pikachu would win. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way Pokemon use their moves. Akiri, always watching the Pokemon. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Stealth Spray? Does that mean I can be more stealthy? So I've been working on studying those strange space-time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems like they hold wonderful items, but Rightfully strong Pokemon, too. If you plan to go into one, be careful about it. Now, time to head to the Mirrorlands camp. Okay, I guess we're gonna head out then. So, this is the Crimson Mirrorlands. Kinda looks like a swamp. Here we are, my boy, the Crimson Mirrorlands. An area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon, and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Shadow. If you're looking for Solacion Ruins, they're off that way. So I'm guessing it's the big rock. 
that seems to be exactly what they're pointing at. For now, I'll keep searching for the space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where one might appear. I'll do my best. It sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best as you can. Be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. We don't need that. We can just run on forward. I can see some Badoo, some Psyduck, and I don't know his name. But I know it starts with Carnivaha. Uh, I should probably ignore him for now. There's probably a lot of Pokemon I could catch here. Let me just jump over this or walk over like a normal person. And there's the ruins. I hope the warren lets us in. Oh, look, the barrel. I am Caliba of the Pearl Clan, Warden Caliba to you. Oh, now would you look at that? You have the Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I've already heard about you, that you call Cleavor and his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. We didn't bully him, I think. And if you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry, I don't need any help from you. Or the Diamond Clan, for a matter of fact. That young lady, Arizu, offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan... It just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do. And I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Okay, it looks like the Warren's kicking us out. Ah, Shadow. How about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. This is a strange place to meet Volo, but I guess we'll battle him because he asked. I wonder if he'll give me a Togepi one day. But let's see what we can do here. Let's start with a agile style bite. I'm going to try and outspeed him if possible. Uh, looks like I won't be able to now with that stat buff to him. So, Thunder Vang. Uh, oh no! That actually did a lot to Luxio. Maybe I should try it one more time. Hopefully we'll get lucky. And it looks like we were. His next Pokemon is Gippo. Unfortunately, Luxio wasn't prepared for Gibble. 
So let's use Weasel. Maybe he'll be able to take down the Gibble with a strong style Aqua Jet. Uh, that was pretty close. Oh no, it's uh, using Agile style. That means it's going to be a lot faster than us now. Sorry, Boizel. Let's try Babarel now. And Babarel actually knows Water Pulse. Which we can Agile style it. And that was just enough to defeat Gibble. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. I agree. Even though he took out some of our Pokemon, we were able to do pretty good. Such prodigious strength. Now let me heal up your Pokemon. How nice of him. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Salacion ruins and made off with the fragment of the wall engraving. Have you not heard the notorious misfortunes? They're a trio of bandits that have even hit us ginkgo guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Skeleba is doing everything she can do to regrain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. Yeah, she's kind of old, so I can see how that's hard. She looks upset. So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares too, and I'm no Gingo Guild merchant. If I take that lying down... And far be it from me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious runes of this region. You know, I did see the remains of the campfire near the Maryland's camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Uh, sure, I guess we can help them out real quick. So it looks like we have to go... Reclaim the fragment wall. But... Is he following me? He's not. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. We did complete a few quests here. We ranked up to rank 3 of the Galaxy Expedition team. And in the next episode, we shall go retrieve the stolen fragment. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye!